Engineering and IT. This fascinating sector provides graduates these days with a huge variety of jobs and opportunities. I'm here today to meet the IT program manager. Hey, Claire. Hi. Hi. Nice How do you do? You. Nice to meet you. Now, tell me, you're the uh, IT engineering. When was there a vital spark? What caused you suddenly to decide, I'm going to be doing this? When I was at university, IT was seen as a very diverse sector. There's a lot of roles within the IT industry. It is a vital role across all organisations and it was something I was very interested in. So when did Formula One suddenly appear on the horizon? Um, so three years ago I joined Formula One as an IT project manager. And looked after performance software at Trackside. Worked with the race engineers to understand their requirements of what they needed from the off-car software. And you're in charge of all the staff as well. I'm in charge of maintaining and managing the projects. It is a responsibility of the departmental heads um, to manage the people within their teams. Could you ever see that happening when you first left university? Uh, no, not at all, no. And then what were your first impressions of Formula One? What did you think of it when you first came in? Um, very fast paced, um, very changing, innovative, innovative. In that's it. <laughs> yeah. um, yes, a lot going on, a lot of projects to manage, very short time scales. So uh, a change from what I had been doing, I had been managing um, year-long projects where projects in the F1 industry were a week to a month, very short. Would you say a massive challenge? Definitely, and working with a variety of people around. And what's it like being a female, being a lady, operating in what is perhaps a very male-dominated environment. I've only ever been in male-dominating environments and I find it's, it's changed, it's getting very diverse. Women are able to take up more senior positions and you just need to be yourself, make sure you gain good business relationships and work off the strengths of others as well as yourself. But is it an advantage as well? Are you taking advantage? Um, I do believe it can be an advantage. Women think very differently and act very differently to men, so that is always good um, to have within the business. What about data safety within this? Um, data is our bloodline within F1, so we need to ensure data is protected. We have various systems in place to protect our data at the factory and at the track. We monitor our data in terms of utilisation, so we know who's accessing our data at all times. Is there a fail-safe in, in, in place, just in case things do go wrong, what happens then? Back in Grove, to the connection to the track, we have everything, the whole IT infrastructure set up at the track so it doesn't impact the track at all. We work internally to get the network back up to the track within an SLA time to ensure we're, we're connected again. I mean, Australia is obviously the other side of the world. Does that mean you virtually work a 24-hour day? Um, not myself, but the IT team, yes. We have guys supporting, so we'll have one guy from the IT um, in a support room here, working with other engineers. So it really is very high pressure. Yes, definitely. Yeah. In a way, you could say it's a behind-the-scenes job. Um, and maybe you don't get the glory, you know, people don't talk about it. But do you still find it very rewarding? You've, are you very pleased about that? Yes, definitely rewarding. IT is a support function, so we're there to support the business and um, to improve the performance of the car. And what's changed since you graduated? Has very much changed in terms of IT? I would have thought a huge amount has Yes, significant amounts changed. Um, everyone's using very much cloud-based service technologies now, moving from um, ad hoc systems around the business to centralised systems. So we've got efficient reporting, um, correct data available. So yeah, it's, it's going to continue advancing. Now, was the one particular inspiration, as far as you were concerned in your career, is the one particular person who said, this is what you need to do? Um, not really. It's been a variety of people. I've had some good, very good managers over my career that have helped me progress and have given me inspiration of where I want to get to and how I want to work. So, yeah. Would they be surprised where you are now? Definitely, yes. Definitely. <laughs> I, they, they would not expect me to be working within Formula One. Well, very good luck, Claire. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Thanks.